Welcome back to Gear for the Common Game. Last video we talked about old chromium, and this time we're going to talk about new chromium. Of course, this chromium is the one that gave me the idea to build both. So, I thought it was kind of neat. <clears throat> However, the last chromium deck was not exactly on point for flavor. I, I just wanted to do something opposite of this one. Now, I pulled this guy in the pre-release, and to be honest with you, this was my promo, and every rare I got was in these three colors and playable. It was ridiculous. It was a it was over a hundred dollar seal pool, and I could not believe it. And I found out the value of this guy and how sweet he is. Now, flash flying can't be countered, and just about can't be killed because every time they would aim a a, a card at him, I just pitch it and make him hexproof. And he becomes a human. Now the storyline here is he actually lived among humans and lived as a human. So I love that. Love, love, love that flavor there. But anyway, we're building the deck. So still that 7-7. Seven, seven, so three hit magic. Got a little bit of ramp here. Now I don't have as much ramp in this one as I did the last one because, you know, let's face it, we ain't got to pay the upkeep and it's not as, we don't have six specific mana in the cost. So, but there is a little bit, if you'll notice, they all cost three. So if we just got to have another one or whatever, I thought that was, just, I don't know, cutesy. So, Chromium loves Dim Humans, so let's look at Dim Humans. We have got our pair of knights that, you know, turn each other on, as it were. The Knight of Grace and the Knight of Malice, which is pretty good, because, you know, we're probably going to be that player that controls the white and or black permanent. Zulaport Zul Cutthroat is human. Thing things about humans are they die a lot, and that's just how it is. Soul Warden, we would love to play on turn one every game, but the fact of the matter is that just don't always happen. Uh, Champion of the Parish, another good turn one drop. Good with more humans. Banisher Priest, going to act as a little bit of removal. Thraben Doomsayer making them tokens more humans Benelish Marshall I almost didn't put Benelish Marshall in here you know three specific in a three color deck is ah, I don't know but obviously he ain't coming down on turn three probably now we have Mentor of the Meek a little bit of card draw because most of our creatures are going to be under that threshold Reflector Mage a little bit of removal. Zathrid Necromancer. Humans turn into zombies when they die. That, that sounds pretty... I could not believe this was a human. Can you... I mean, human... An enchantment human wizard. I'll take it. Could not believe it. I haven't really built a, you know, white, blue, black humans deck yet. So... When I found things like, you know, Necrotal's human, Hand of Cruelty's human, Kython's irregular, human and decent. The Triad of Fates. Now, I can't look at this card without seeing the fates from Hercules. I just can't, you know. Hercules came out when my, when my kids were young, young, and we watched it all the dang time. But anyway... I just see them having one eye sharing between the three of them. Eh. Guafahazi is a human, and, you know, he brought people not to attack you. Now, Skirtag High Priest is a human, but I almost feel like this is a flavor miss because, you know, yeah, humans do make dragons. And, or, uh, not dragons, the uh, demon. But, the demon part is where it feels like the flavor, but, you know, they generate a 5-5 five, five flyer, so it's not that bad. We'll get to why I think this is a flavor miss here in a minute. Of course, Dauntless Bodyguard, we're going to pick Chromium. 
wait a minute. Uh, choose another. No, so it has to be already on, on the battlefield. So this is. Eh, I guess it's useful early and it's useful late after you've got chromium. You got a dragon hunter, which there again may be a flavor miss, but you know, protection of dragons a big thing. Our format was originally called Elder Dragon Highlander, so a lot of you know, dragons are kind of a favorite race to Sin Collector. And there's uh, you get their removal spell essentially, or more probably their cyclonic rift. Hixus, Hixus is that uh, you know. During nowhere for the entire team that hits you. Exclusion Mage. I kind of like it. Bounces a dude. Village Cannibals. It's when other humans die, he gets bigger. Captain of the Mist. Hmm. Scholar of Athreos. I really like this. It being repeatable and all. It's really, really neat. Crusader Vordrick, just a big body. Royal Assassin for removal. Yeah, yeah, human. Just tapping, you know, you're going to tap swing to have vigilance? Sorry, no? Okay. Riders of Gavany. The ultimate human protector. Beguiler of Wills. Yeah, number of creatures you control, it's probably going to be a pretty decent amount. Daxos. Because, you know, he's just all around good. Now, there is a race out there that cares about being, uh, cares about humans or taking care of humans. And we are talking about Angel of Glory's Rise. Now, this is why the demon thing seems so off. But I guess this, the high priest is like that one, I don't know. Herald of War is going to make your humans cost cheaper. Not like humans need to cost cheaper, because they don't cost a lot to begin with. They're humans. Angelic Overseer is going to give them all industrial. Yes, I mispronounced that on purpose. And then, of course, we have Dearly Departed. Now, Dearly Departed is kind of neat, because it turns on when dead, so meh. Let's look at, I mean, I, I only got two what I'd call hardcore counter spells, the Unwind and the Negate. And we all know why I play Negate is because people love Cyclonic Rift. Uh, we got, oh, I'm sorry, I have Counter Squall, because, you know, hashtag Cyclonic Rift. Uh, the rest of my removal, of course, Murder, Mortify, Utter End, Doomblade. These are, you know, just good old-fashioned staples. Uh, Garrick's Wake and Hostilities and Zealous Persecution is a good one. I love the fact that it's instant and it kills, you know, all those one one toughness things and it pumps your team. So this is not bad for two mana. It's an excellent combat trick. It's been a decent pyroclasm for me. So I like it. Now the Bident is going to make all, all your humans draw your cards when they hit, so that's not bad. Of course, you know, it's kind of similar to military intelligence. Two or more creatures draw a card. Uh, distant Melody, you're going to choose humans. And since, you know, obviously, if we want to play with Distant Melody in a human deck, we probably also want Mass Appeal for one mana less. Commander's Authority... By the way, yes, that is that shiny. That four was amazing. Eh, you uh, you just get to keep putting out dudes. Hey, didn't we have a human that you could... When a human comes into play, it untaps? Huh. This could be fun. Ponder. Some more card draw in Phyrexian Arena. A uh, kind of a fog effect here, except you know, your guys are still going to do damage. So what's up? And our last card, of course, is Cathar's Crusade because this card has gotten ridiculous lately, and hopefully we'll uh, 
as of the time I'm recording this, we've started seeing the, uh, some of the spoilers. They just now started to trickle out for C18. And pretty excited. That's my core set. Everybody said Origins, you know, that there was a big gap between M16 and M19. No, 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 no. Commander's my core set. Anyway. Cathar's Crusade is just uh, really, really good. Especially in humans, you know. Anyway, that's New Chromium. I do appreciate you watching. We kind of rolled through that one pretty quick because, I mean, it, it is basically play dudes, turn them sideways. But that's what Chromium did. He lived amongst the humans. I do appreciate you watching. Y'all let me know what you think. But right now, let's shuffle and cut.